Hey everybody, this is Sam Kelly with Twin Hawks Outdoors and today I'm going to show you my Long Hunter loadout. I've been building my Long Hunter gear for a little while and I just wanted to show you what I've got right now. I'll be changing this as I go along and uh, it develops over time and depending on the season and, and the objective of what I'm doing, I'll have different things in my setup here. But I just want to quick show you my gear that I have for long hunter trekking. So we'll take a quick look at this and uh, hopefully it'll give you some ideas for your bushcraft gear. So a couple things real quick. Uh, it's good to get your gear and clothing and equipment out and use it in an environment that you're going to be uh, dealing with because things start functioning a little bit different or you may need to adjust something. Right now it's really hot and humid outside uh, in middle Tennessee and you can see I'm all sweaty and everything you know rides a little differently when you get hot and exhausted I had to hike up the mountain here so uh, it, it really pays to take your gear out on test hikes or you know maybe you're gonna do a quick overnight camp and just feel it out you know and see how it actually works and rides on you um, for instance my moccasin down here I've I made my own moccasins and uh, just getting them wet on the wet ground because it rained a little bit ago, I could see that I needed to adjust it a little bit. So those type of adjustments, uh, you can you can tell pretty easily when you start getting your your gear out and using it. Now some of you guys will probably get on here and that you're like, well, that's not quite uh, period correct or it's not quite uh, exactly right, and that's okay. Um, especially if you're new to this and building your new setup, just do what you can and over time it will develop into very period correct stuff if that's what you want to do uh, but any little interest you have in it don't feel bad if it's not exactly period correct right off the bat because you'll get there and you'll see most of my stuff is a little bit of a variation of period correct I'm filming on my phone right now that's all I brought up here with me so uh, if the video quality is a little bit a little bit off just bear with me so first off I'll go ahead to toe on my on my um, clothing first so just got my felt hat just a basic felt hat this one is uh, actually an old Stetson that I modified myself so got that and then my shirt is a linen shirt so I bought linen fabric and I sewed my own shirt. Had a like an old timey shirt pattern that I had and I hand sewed this all myself. But before I stitched it up, I dyed this in walnut holes and turned it this brown tan color, which I wanted my gear to somewhat blend in in the wilderness so uh, so I could hunt in it, you know, and it would be functional in in that um, capacity as well. So Walnut dyed shirt, pretty uh, pretty easy and simple to do. I may do a video on that this fall whenever the um, walnuts start dropping. I don't know yet. Uh, but anyways, moving on. I've just got a little sash that my sister knit for me. She actually, I guess she weaved it. Uh, they would wear sashes and stuff. And I usually have a couple of those to go around my, my leggings as well, but I didn't, I don't have those with me today. Uh, and then I've got few different knives and stuff on me I'll get to that in a minute and then some leather leggings that I made myself and then my moccasins a large skinner or fighting knife this is a Jeff White knife pretty large blade uh, it's got a 90 degree spine on the back for different uh, jobs and such this is actually a little bit period incorrect because this is a Kephart model, which would have been in the 1900s. But uh, it's my best working knife that I have right now, so I'm carrying that with me for carving uh, chores and you know camp stuff and whatever, whatever I need, small stuff. And then a spike hawk. A tomahawk would have been carried for light work uh, in the belt or wherever. And it's just a lighter option for chopping and, 
and doing work around camp. So you don't have to carry a big, big ax with you. That would have been probably in the pack train or, or whatever you had there for transportation. Okay, so here's the gear that I had um, besides what was on my person. You see my flintlock there, obviously carried that in. Uh, bedroll, haversack, and a shooting pouch. And I'm going to get into some more detail on those, get everything out and show it to you. Uh, I didn't, so this bedroll, I can add a blanket in there and have a little uh, more protection if it's cold or whatever outside. I was just going out for a day scout and to work in my camp here, so I didn't add a blanket to it. I just have the, the cover element of the oilcloth tarp. Okay, so this is the contents of my haversack. Got a char cloth making tin, candle for extra lighting around camp, bag of rations, trail snack, got my Hudson Bay fire tin. Don't have much in it right now, but I've got. Uh, Magnification right there so I can start a fire with uh, the sun. And my fire kit here, which I've got a video specifically on that. Extra cloth drawstring bag that's useful for different things. And a smaller drawstring bag. This is my shot pouch. Uh, I'm probably going to go to something a little bit smaller. This is a little bit too big for me right now, but it's what I've got. So I've got just some lead shot in there. I've got 45 and 50 cal uh, round ball. Got a couple extra flints. Uh, a couple more in here. Some of these have been used. And uh, some extra scrap linen. Got this little antler piece for sharpening flints. Wadding, cleaning patches. This is empty right now, but this is a shot container I made with a measure in the end. So you can measure out shot. And then another powder measure and a shot pouch. I actually have shot in here. I have a smoothbore flintlock so I can shoot both round ball and shot out of it, which makes it really good for both squirrel and large game. And I can also shoot turkeys and stuff with that. And then in the pouch as well, I had my powder horn. So thanks for checking out this video, everybody. Uh, this is just a quick look at my long hunter gear and what I've put together. Uh, Maybe it'll give you some ideas for your own setup. Uh, so if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Uh, until then, enjoy the woods and go find your frontier.